everybody welcome back to my channel i'm natalie if it's your first time here welcome and if you're returning thank you so much welcome back i have a delivery i got last night from scoop a ball from kathy's scoop a ball wax melts it was a pre-order on october 15th i ordered it i think she ran it from friday the 13th through that weekend and um I didn't expect it so fast in three weeks on a pre-order. That's really fast. So um, luckily around 11 o'clock last night, I went on my emails and I saw I had a delivery. And um, so I went outside, grabbed it, and it was two boxes. I'm like, I didn't think I got that much, but I guess I did. I am now on a no-buy. I do have a few pre-orders still coming in. And then after that, I'm done for a while. I have so much wax. I know we all say that, but like, I mean it, I'm, I have to catch up on wax and all that. But anyway, I opened up the box. I put everything out to save the time of opening the box and the crinkling. And it always starts off with on the top, a beautiful thank you card from Kathy and Tim. So Kathy and Tim are Jenny from Rose Girl's parents and very active on Facebook and Kathy is so good with requests. Like if you make a request, she it might take a, you know, she might not be able to do with the, that order or something, but I, you always know she's going to get to it. She sees your request. She always responds to all comments. Her Facebook page is everybody that's on there. I love the whole group. It's a really good group of girls and guys. Like, and everybody helps everybody. It's just a very friendly group. So, um, it's thank you so much for your order. We appreciate you for supporting our small business. And then it's please tag us on social media with your photos. And um, so that's Kathy and Tim. And when I opened up my box, I see four, I didn't know if they were perfumes or what they were, four room sprays. Like, oh, I didn't even know she carried room sprays or did I know she carried room sprays and I ordered them and don't remember? So I went on to my confirmation email when I ordered on the 15th to see, did I order these? No, Kathy just sent them from the generosity of her heart. That is so sweet. She sent me these. On her list was Moonlit Graveyard. And I'm loving Moonlit Graveyard from Bath and Body Works that Diane got me started on. So I asked in on the list that was posted, is the Moonlit Graveyard a dupe for the Bath and Body Work? Kathy said no. And then one of um, her followers said, it's so good. You should really try it. I go, oh, no, I'm going to try it anyway. And I did. And Kathy, I guess from knowing I asked, she sent me four room sprays. So maybe she's going to start doing room sprays or has she been doing room sprays? And I haven't noticed. I don't even know. But she sent me four room sprays of Moonlit Graveyard. And I am beyond a, like grateful. Thank you so much. So I'm going to spray this. Smells like the Moonlit Graveyard, like the candle to me. It's an earthy scent. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I love it. So the scent notes, because I did get a loaf. So I got all small loaves. I got 15 cents, but I got multiples of a few. So I got 15 different scents and multiples of a few. And I'll, I'll go through that with you. But the Moonlit Graveyard... The notes are iced vanilla woods, marshmallow fireside. It's very that's why I smell the earthy, I guess the marshmallow fireside. But I love it and I'll open this up when I'm doing the wax. I got a sample and it is raspberry custard pie. It's raspberries folded into custard and baked in a pie shell right up my alley. I love raspberries. And I love bakery. Oh, this is really good. Oh my God, Kathy, if you're watching. See, this kills my no buy that I'm, I'm absolutely cannot buy till 2024. I smell this. I'm like, oh my God, I want a loaf. 
I have to I, I have to stop because I have I, I really have a couple more pre-orders coming in and I have to catch up like on on melting and financially and stuff like real estate's bad right now so I'm trying to watch my pennies but you would never know that when you see my pre-orders so let's get started her she did mini loaves I love them they were seven dollars and fifty cents each five ounces to 5.2 ounces and I had just finished um Rose Girls Salem and I love it so right after I got done with the bag a couple days later I see Kathy's list and I see Salem on it so I grabbed two mini loaves. I've had Salem from Jenny, who's her daughter, a few times. I love that one, this one. It's pumpkin pecan waffles, campfire marshmallow, and vanilla sandalwood. I love all of these three on their own, too, but and blended together. Yum. It's the loaf. I can't flip it over. As you can see, it's a little bit flaky on top oh my god yeah it's sale i know i love it because i oh okay because i now broke the loaf probably no i'm only kidding Have, has anybody ever had salem that's watching it is just if you haven't had it and you're a bakery lover you need this then i got and i got two loaves so what I'm doing is I'm doubling because my daughter's birthday is November 15th, but I didn't even think I'd get this before her birthday. So I was thinking Christmas in my head when I was ordering two. My daughter Jacqueline loves Luke's Diner. And um, I don't know if I've ever had it from Kathy, but I've had it many times from Jenny. So I know they, I believe they use the same oils. So I got one for me and one for my daughter. And now it's her birthday next week on the 15th. So this will be added to her birthday bag. It's absolute coffee, pancakes, pumpkin pecan waffles, and vanilla crunch donuts. I'm going to open it, but I already know I, I love it. Yeah, I love Luke's Diner. It's a very, very popular one. It's, I, I, I believe it might be like the one of the more popular coffees along with fire mario i know is popular but i know luke's diner is a is a good seller too for them then i grabbed two santa's pipe again i'm giving one to my daughter this one i santa's pipe i might now put in her stocking since i already have a ton of wax coming for her in her birthday bag um, Santa's pipe is, smells just like a pipe with cherry and tobacco nuances. I'm not going to pull them. Oh, okay, this one isn't flaky. It's, it's like a, um, it's like a soft pink. Oh yeah, this is, I love pipe smoke scents. I love smoky scents and I love pipe smoke with cherry. Oh yeah, love this. Love, love, love. Really, really good. Then I did Circus Animal Cookies Three Cakes. So her Three Cakes blend, I just did the, I think my last pre-order was her Three Cakes pre-order. Her Three Cakes is Yellow Cake, Birthday Cake, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This one is blended with Frosted Circus Animal Cookies. So I, I think Charity had asked if she was going to do Frosted Circus Animal Cookies so when I saw Charity ask her that, I'm like, well, I guess I got to try it. So I got this one. Oh, my God. This is so good. Okay. It is a big hype with this, her three cakes blend, and it's worth every bit of the hype you hear. If you have not tried three cakes, you need, you need it in your life. It smells good just like the frosted circus animal cookies that you get in the bag along with all the blends all the notes of the three cakes this is so and it, these this these all smell like they could go right in the warmer then i got okay no i got two circus animal cookies i thought i got another one with animal cookies it might be here somewhere so one will go to my daughter. 
Okay, I got two of her hypnotic vanilla. Oh my, like, hypnotic vanilla. I need that one. This vanilla will cast a spell on you. Well, vanilla is one of my absolute favorite scents in body walk care and everything. Again, there goes my camera. Okay, now it's early. I might have time today to call Apple with my camera changing colors. I'm going to try today to do that. So guys, this is so good. It's hypnotic vanilla. And it's like a, it's like a goldish color. Really good. Love. I guess this is great as a blender, but I would like this at night, like in my room on its own too. So this is a good blender or on its own for a bedroom. Because I don't know, like in an open concept, you know, how good that would throw in an open concept, but in my bedroom or as a blender in my open concept. Okay, then I got two, my daughter and her, her boyfriend love pretzel and popcorn scents, like movie theater scents. So I got two <clears throat> soft pretzel rolls. It's French baguette and fresh baked bread. I got two of these. Yum, yum, yum. Oh my God, the pretzel is just like soft pretzels smell when you go up and you, you get soft pretzels in the mall. Yum, this is so good. Kathy, oh my God, if you're watching, okay. I love this. Love, love, love that. All right, then... The Moonlit Graveyard, which I said is Iced Vanilla Woods and Marshmallow Fireside. Think the Bath the Body Works one reads like Earthy Incense or something like that. Yeah, so this one is... I'm trying to think, is there much of a difference? There is. The, the Bath and Body Works is more of an incense, um, earthy, than... Then this one. This one is more woodsy and the marshmallow fireside. But it's delicious. Really, really, really good. I have to send her a big, huge thank you. To I mean, if she would have sent me one room spray, I would have been over the moon. I guess I'm going to share these because I want Alexis and Charity to have one too. So I am going to share with the girls so that they also try the room spray. Um, okay. Then the cake whisperer. Yellow cake, birthday cake, buttercream frosting, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. It's her, it smells just like her three cakes blend, and I love it. So I got her three cakes blend in scoops, in wax. Maybe the buttercream is jumping out more. And I love buttercream, like love. Like that's like, I'll never get tired of that smell. I love buttercream mixed with wild berry mousse and like zucchini bread. I love that blend. This is oh, excellent. Yeah, I love this one. Okay, next. Peppermint Stardust. Peppermint Strawberry Crush Ice Cream North Pole Type. I got this because I got it in her scoop. Um, it wasn't part of her three cake blend pre-order, but I ordered it. It was just on her site. So I ordered it to combine with my three cakes. So I got it in the scoop. So I like to, and I believe I list, uh, when I did at the end of that order, I pulled Peppermint Stardust as one of my top favorites. So I like to, with scoops, put a little bit of wax in my warmer, like take a piece of the wax and then put a little bit of scoop on top of it so that I can do the freezer method, which is what I do. And, um, and it works beautifully. So I put the wax in and then I take my spoon and I put a little scoop. So I thought if I get the wax, I can do the wax and then put a little scoop of the peppermint stardust on top. I loved it. It was one of my favorites in my last pre-order from Kathy and Tim. I keep saying Kathy and Tim. Sorry, Tim. Love you too. Without without one, you wouldn't be without Kathy. You wouldn't be Tim. Without Tim, wouldn't be Kathy. It takes a team. Yep. And this is so good. 
like so good. This is a beautiful scent for like Christmas Eve throughout the house. I don't have enough of it, but this would be a beautiful Christmas Eve scent to do everywhere. But I'm going to save that and use it in my room. Um, okay. Autumn Mountain. I've had this many, many times from Jenny. It's Cider Lane, Dunk My Donut, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I love Autumn Mountain. That's why I ordered it from Kathy when I saw she listed it. Yeah, love it. The Cider Lane mixed with the donut and the waffles. It's excellent. Just so, so good. Um, okay, and then I got two Monster Bread. I want to try to keep everything together. Monster Bread is Wild Berry, Monster Cookie, and Baked Zucchini Bread. I've never had this before. Oh my God, it's just, guys, I don't, I know everybody's like, you every, you loving every, yeah, up to now, I love everything. The wild berry, I just got done, I didn't even realize it had wild berry, and I just got done saying how I love the wild berry with um, whatever it is I just did, buttercream, with buttercream frosting. Oh, mama mia. This is so, so good. Okay, we're almost done. 16 minutes in. Honey lavender gelato type. Lavender with fresh violet. I love violet oil. Blackberries, raspberries, creamy vanilla, and honey. I love everything in here. The only iffy oil to me is the blackberry. I'm not big on blackberry. I... I've had blackberries that I really, really like, and I've reordered, and then I have blackberry where not for me. But with this blend, I'm like, I got to try that. So I grabbed two because I grabbed one for my daughter. She works from home, and I thought, and she's been studying her butt off with her CPA. I thought this would be a nice blend in her warmer that's on her desk when she's locked in there all day and night. Mmm. Wow, this is so good. And of course, it's my favorite color like the Monster Bread is. It's a violet color. Yeah, the Monster Bread is like more of a deep purple. It's my favorite color. I say that in all my videos. As you could see, my lights behind me are purple. Well, they're like a, a lavender, whatever. But yes, love, love, love. Next. Nutcracker, caramelized pralines, salted pretzel, and royal sugar cookie. Again, grab two of these. I've never had this. I don't have much with pralines in it and wax. Yeah, this is delicious. Oh, my God. This is just so... It's like a slate blue. I am in heaven right now. And the very last thing I'm going to show you was what pulled me into even place in order at all. This is just dynamite love. One left. So, I have been asking, forget that, I just said that. I asked Kathy if she could pour for me espresso pretzels because I've had Jenny's espresso pretzels and I absolutely love it. I had two bags and I would not finish up my last bag without knowing I'm getting more. So I'll keep a long story short. This past spring, like beginning of April, I was out in my backyard doing yard work, like all the way at the other end of the yard, like raking and stuff behind, uh, under a big tree I have over there. I had all the windows open. It was like 65 degrees out. From all the way on the other side of the yard, you could smell my house with the espresso pretzels in the kitchen. I came in the house. I could not believe how much I was smelling it down there, and I loved it. So I posted it on Rose Girl's 
Facebook page that I loved it so, so much. So I had asked Kathy if she would pour it for me, and she did. So I got five mini loaves of espresso pretzels, and I will be literally using them when I'm not leaving the house in my kitchen and I'll work like in my like days where I'm like working from home and I'm sitting I will sit in my kitchen or dining room and be just sitting there all day hoarding every second of this scent well you know I love it I got five loaves right it's espresso beans and pretzels I was looking at other people's orders and I don't, I didn't really see anybody else ordering this. I'm like, oh, if you're a coffee lover, you're missing out. Yep. So definitely in my top five favorite coffees is espresso pretzels. I should really do a video of my top five favorite coffees. Um, I could do that. I think I could pick my top five because... When I'm tagged in videos to pick your top 10, I flunk every time I'm picking like 15, 20. But I think for my coffees, I could stick to a top five. So maybe this winter I'll do that, but you will be seeing this as one of my top five. And that's it, guys. That is my scoopable. Um, Kathy, if you're watching, thank you so, so much. I love you. I love your wax. I love your people um your facebook page i am going to be on a hiatus i will be sneaking in and seeing what's going on but i really have to be good because i still have so much of your wax i'm going to be warming a lot this winter now and see you in the spring maybe maybe not um oh i want to do my top favorites wait wait i got a two top favorites i put them aside the soft pretzel rolls the soft pretzel rolls is a favorite not done my peppermint stardust again just like with when i did the scoop as my favorite and the circus animal cookies i love everything but those are my top favorites obviously my espresso pretzels but those the, are new ones that i have not tried so i want to stick which ones haven't I tried? Of course, I love the Salem. I love the Autumn Mountain. I've had them. They're reorders. But out of the new ones I haven't tried, those are the ones I'm most excited for. I'm excited for everything. This Honey Lavender Gelato. I definitely know I'm going to love this and want more. I'm going to want more of everything. I love everything. This Cake Whisperer with the Buttercream. See, I'm so bad. I am so bad. Love you guys. I'm checking out because I will keep going on. I love everything here. Thank you so much if you stay till the end. If I will put, if you're not already on Kathy's Facebook page, I will put her Facebook page below in the description. Love you guys. Bye.